Yeah, there's a bunch of different knives you can use, Gary, as you know, being a chef, but I prefer the regular steel knife just because it's got a nice flex to it. Keep your hand off to the perimeter of the oyster, come in at the hinge, and you'll apply just enough pressure till you feel it get purchased. And keep it angled down. You'll, you'll notice where my hand is. Some oyster shells, you're gonna have different shell densities, so you might get caught by surprise and get a young one where the knife is gonna pass all the way through. You'll just give it a gentle twist so that top shell pops off. Then what I like to do, rather than go right into the oyster and run the risk of grinding the meat up, keep the knife on the edge of the oyster and come around to the right, because your abductor muscle's over here, that's where you're gonna wanna cut it. And that's the key to getting that top shell off. Top shell off. Nice and clean. Look how full that is. It's beautiful. If you don't see an oyster full of liquor, then it's probably been sitting around in a cooler for a while. It's a nice perceived value, too, for the end user. So, cheers. cheers.